welcome back to Picture Book Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru, and welcome to our next installment of the 31 Days of October. In this section, we are going to be celebrating all things Halloween, but this particular video, we're going to be talking about possession. Only um, reason why I'm doing this one individually, there's a couple that I'm going to be doing individually, but this particular one I think needed its own video, and that is the Amityville Horror. This movie came out in 1979. I mean, this had James Brolin, Margot Kidder. You know, if you guys were into, um, here's your 80s trivia. What TV show did uh, James Brolin do on TV? He was on there with Connie Selica. And you all know Margot, Killer, Margot Kidder, excuse me, from the Superman movies, my all-time favorite movie. But this was actually a dip into the uh, paranormal uh, movies before Paranormal Activity. You had The Exorcist, which uh, will be in our countdown. And then you also had this movie, The Amityville Horror. The two differences between them is like this was the house that was doing it. In The Exorcist, it was a possession. It was an um, actual possession of the little girl. Um, in this one, the house is basically just telling them to get the hell out of there. You, you, know, you don't have any rights to this house. And just to see how they did the effects in this movie were really, really good. I mean, this lets you know how practical effects work better in a movie than any CG you can ever do. And the performances, especially by uh, James Brolin, was just amazing. When you're watching him just go nuttier and nuttier through that film, kind of gives you um, a shining type of feel as well. But in 1979, the Amityville Horror scared the crap out of us. Now, um, the next one I'm going to show you is a sequel, but a prequel. Um, that is... Amityville 2, The Possession. This came out in 1992, and this was actually when Dino De Laurentiis came on as a producer of this film. So that meant a little bit more money going into it. Um, they kind of went more, again, into a true story, because the first Amityville was also based on a uh, true story, but that was embellished a little bit. This one was actually based on documentary footage that they had watched, and actually decided to translate that as best they could to the screen, which... You know, they kind of hit on it, but I think the first one really did a better job of that. Then finally they came out with, and there's two different titles that this is under, and I kind of got screwed when I bought this. And that is Amityville 2, the, uh, I believe it's called The Demon. This came out in 93, uh, again produced by Dino De Laurentiis. And this had a slew of 80 stars in it. You had Tony Roberts in it, Tess Harper. If you guys are into TV um, and movies back then, you know who these guys are. Um, but in this one, they play the next people who take over a house, get possessed, blah, blah, blah. Not, no longer based on a true story, this is their own original story, which is basically like the first Amityville movie, but different actors. But as far as the title of this film goes, you can find it under two titles, and it's the same movie. It's Amityville 3, The Demon, then Amityville 3D. All the same. I own both. I open it up. They're flip um, discs. So one side is the regular movie. The other side is your D, uh, 3D. So don't get caught like I did. <laughs> it didn't cost me a lot of money, so it was cool. It actually is nice to have both uh, copies because I didn't know that they did that. But be warned, if you just want to have one copy and you're not obsessed like I am, you might want to get the one that is called... Amityville 3, The Demon. That way it fits in with the titles of your movie. That way when you put it to the side, they look cool. So, But that's going to be it for this particular segment. Pretty cut and dry, really uh, simple. But I really thought these uh, movies deserved to have their own little video. So keep up with me here on Facebook. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think should be in the countdown? And hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. I'm always updating anything. Once I do something on YouTube... It immediately goes out to Facebook and Twitter. So hit me up there as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will eventually be doing um, a Q&A. So send me all your questions. Probably um, after... Uh, give, to give it time to come in. Usually mid-November, end of November, around Thanksgiving. We'll start doing our first Q&A. But until then, I'm Sean. See you guys later. Peace.